Now there, a little uh, update for you on the SX3 litre V6. Um, if you saw the last video, you know it's having some modifications done. Well, the heads I took off last time, uh, I've taken the valves out. Uh, this is to uh, do some part work to the heads and we're fitting a different camshaft. Now, this engine was uh, reconditioned, I think, in the 90s. Um, it's had hardened valve seats fitted, which you can see. Now, it, that's good because none of the Essex engines were suitable for unleaded. The problem is here, I don't know if you can see, but there is a huge ridge under the insert. Let's see if I can... Fingers and thumbs. Under there is a ridge. So what we're going to do is some part work and we're going to open that up a bit, get rid of the ridge and a little bit of part work around where the valve comes through just to improve the flow because it's a bit of a restriction. Uh, not much will be done to the inlet valves, the uh, inlet parts. Just a, a bit of a clean up, just so it flows a little bit better. That one's had some moisture in. That one's had a little bit of moisture. So, like I say, we'll be doing some part work. Um, and we shall also be modifying the inlet manifold. Now, when I was drag racing, we used to have the same engine, and it was all standard, standard parts, but they were, they were modified. And one thing we did was on the manifold, we actually opened up this section, and actually made all that one sort of big plenum, and then you're all feeding from there. Now, it's a bad design manifold because you go in and you're straight to the middle cylinders, whereas for the outer cylinders, you've got some distance to travel. But we did find on the drag car, this opening up did improve things, and Chris, who owns the, uh, the, the vehicle this engine's in, wants a bit more get up and go. So we're gonna do that, uh, which you'll see in, in one of the upcoming videos. Now, with the heads apart, obviously, things need inspecting. And I did notice a bit of an issue with the valve springs, which, uh, let me just show you. So here's a, an example. The valve springs should all sit to the same height. And as you can see, these do not. Both this one, and this one being deformed and not quite standing as high. That is one of the better ones, just as a comparison. So, uh, new valve springs or replacement valve springs, I might have some, uh, are needed. Always worth checking. Also the van valve stem oil seals, which are these, what used to be rubber, like hard plastic now, they all need replacing. I noticed that a lot of them would come off. I'll show you on this head. You can see the exhaust one there. It's up at the top. And I think another one was as well. But none of them are very tight. They're all very brittle. And that's what causes you used to smoke on start-up with an old Ford. It's always the stem seals. I think they'll last about 20,000 miles and they're about knackered. So, until next time, I shall bid you farewell. And uh, all being well in the next video, we'll have uh, we'll be well underway with the, the head modifications. Catch you soon.